15 tools you must have for your four-wheel drive. Do you have these or do you not? Let's find out. There are some rules in place. I'm not allowed to put any sets in here. No socket sets, no spanner sets, no screwdriver sets. 15 tools only. What's on the table right here? What they are and why? So let's find out if you have them or if you don't have them. First one, the nippers or the cutters. Also wire twisters. These are so versatile and my previous working life as a tradesman this was my only tool that I really relied on. Now you can cut wire with this, and we're not just talking electrical wire, we're talking fencing wire, we're talking working wire. You can twist that wire and put things together. You can fix things and you can tighten things right up. So these are so versatile and so handy. I've fixed many things with these during my travels. From exhaust pipes to you name it. Second on the list. And in no particular order, slip adjustable pliers. That's what I know them as. Why? Because with these, you can really hold things like a vise while someone else is working on it. You need a bigger washer and you don't have it. Say someone's got a drill. You can really hold this while they drill it. Really leverage things. Also with your mud guards, say a tray back, you can reshape them. Now I've done that many times on my ute downstairs. I've been reshaping them with this big bad boy here. So there's so many things you can do with this. Grab onto something, bend it, reshape it, you name it. This is a good tool. So I would prefer the big one over the small one. Down obvious lane, we have the big flathead screwdriver. Great tool, a very crude tool. You can really pry things, leverage things. If your tire comes off the bead, off the rim, this can also assist you to put it back on. I know it's not gonna be the easiest tool to use for that, but you can use it for it. The medium flathead, you can't really get away with not having one of these. General purpose, obviously, is the main reason. You can also leverage your little things where you don't wanna to put too much pressure on it, or it's a tight space. This is where this comes in handy. Step down one more. Now this one has a plastic sheath on it. So this is what I would class as an electrical style screwdriver, flathead, to pry little things open. Get into a little electrical panel so don't short things out. These are handy, just to pop out a fuse, those cylinder fuses or whatever. Very handy tool, must have. Last two obvious ones. Can't get away with not having a Phillips screwdriver. Little baby one. Great for little fuse boxes again, and little fuse panels, or little electrical panels, or any little panels inside your vehicle where you need a tiny little Phillips head screwdriver to get to. So therefore, you can't get away with not having one of these little bad boys here as well. We got the side cutters. Convenient. Good on your torbs, your bastard. They're good to get into tight, great spaces. Great for cutting cable ties, great for stripping wires, great for cutting wires, and just a great all-round purpose little cutter. I use these all the time. If you're one of those people who like mounting stuff to your roof rack or anywhere in the vehicle that has cable ties, these are great for cutting the cable ties to get your things off, like say your fishing rods, your sand flag, those kind of things. Very handy, versatile tool. The deck collector, also known as the adjustable spanner, adjustable wrench. This is a scaffolders type one. Scaffolders use this to locate or line things up. The general purpose stuff, of course, is like the bolts underneath your U-bolts. Your yeah, you need good leverage on those. So that's where the length of this comes in handy. And instead of just getting a big adjustable wrench or spanner, you might as well get the scaffold style one because you can hit things, pry things. It's an all rounder, really good tool. We of course have the smaller style. Now this is great for like obviously your smaller nuts and bolts. So a smaller adjustable spanner, especially with battery terminals. It's good to just have this in your side pocket, just get out, you need to undo a battery terminal or anything like that. They're all different sizes as well because imagine if you had a spanner set, you'd have to get all the correct sizes out. This one on the fly, just quickly do it. Also tight to reach places, really good one as well. There's one that's even better than that. Slide adjustable spanner, that's what I call it anyway. This is so good. However, it's a very quick tool to use, but you need space. You kind of need two of these to undo certain things because sometimes you have a nut and a bolt. So this is good to get into the tight, squeezy spot, and this is on the outside. So you kind of need two of these to pair up. This is so much quicker as well. You got an M8, you got an M10, M12. Yep, just adjust it, you're done really quick. Time saver. The hammer, another multiple option here. I would go for the medium hammer. What do we need a hammer for for our vehicle? Well, to reshape metal, of course. 
If you need to bash, like your bash plate is bashed up, you can try and bash it back out. Even with a claw hammer, you can kind of wrench it out as well. Now, this is obviously going to be easier to bash things with as well, like your rim. Say you buckled a steel rim. This is great for bashing it back out with. But this is good enough as well. We just need to give it a bit more elbow grease and a few more hits with a smaller hammer. I would ditch the big hammer. You also save on weight. Um, the smaller hammer, great for other things as well, but let's ditch that too and go for a mid-size hammer. And if you've got the claw hammer, well, you can also leverage things as well. So, great addition. Long nose pliers. Now, you don't have to have the extra, extra long ones. I like these because I can really get in and reach things that I might have dropped a bolt down or dropped a tool down, I can reach and grab things out. The reason why I'm saying these are very handy for electrical work, you can crimp things. Long nose pliers for pulling fuses and putting them back in, so much easier. You can also hold those little bolts as well. Like I said, you combine these two to undo nuts and bolts. Well, you can also use this if it's really hard to get to. So a very good, useful tool as well. Now I did say no sets allowed, however, this is kind of a gray area, right? Because this is a set, but it's all attached in one tool. Your Allen keys, you gotta have Allen keys when you go out there. A lot of aftermarket accessories are mounted with Allen keys. Some parts of your full drive, or your vehicle, may also require Allen keys to undo and tighten up as well. For example, the 70 series fuel filter, the diesel filter. You need Allen keys to undo it. That is 14 items. What is my last item? Well, to round out the 15, here we have a test light. Very simple to use. There's a little light bulb in here. You put this on your negative or your earth and you put this to where you suspect the positive to be. It's a test light to check if you have power coming through or not. Not as good or as intelligent as obviously a um, voltmeter, but much more simpler to use. It takes up a lot less space. So I reckon this needs to be part of your 15. So we put that down here. Now, if you had to add anything to this list as number 16 or a bonus item, what would yours be? Tell me down below. While you think about that, hit that subscribe button as well. You can add more stuff to it, but when you add socket sets and spanner sets, just be selective of the sizes that you bring. Maybe just the common ones like your 10, 12, uh, 17, 19. They're the most common sizes for Toyota anyway, or 13 as well. Um, and then you can do the rest with that or that. When it comes to socket sets, well, there's nothing here that can substitute a ratchet and a socket. Not really. Some situations you're gonna need that socket set. But again, cut it down. Figure out what are the most five used sockets on your vehicle. Don't bring the whole bloody box because it takes up so much weight and you'll probably never ever use it. And what do you think of this list? Do you carry all of these? Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next week.